but thriving. The single greatest requirement for great speaking is confidence. Not a deep, authoritative voice or TED Talk-worthy material. Confidence. I have a friend who went to Honduras on a mission trip with only one year of Spanish from a teacher who didn't really speak it while some of his teammates had taken three or more years. But he ended up speaking more Spanish than any of them. Why? Because he had the confidence to try, fail, and try again. The single greatest skill required for great speaking is confidence. Said another way, it doesn't matter how nice your boat is. It's useless if you don't have the confidence to push away from the dock. Think about what confidence means. It comes from the Latin fidere, to trust, and con, an intensifying prefix. So, confidence means a full and complete trust, belief in the ability or trustworthiness of a person or thing, belief in oneself. But simply believing in yourself doesn't mean anything. Countless cringe-worthy performers on American Idol and America's Got Talent believed in themselves. The drunken thrill-seeker in the canoe has confidence. Confidence must be grounded in reality. It is only as good as the abilities behind it. Confidence is only as good as the abilities behind it. Confidence is also a two-way street. Not only must you have faith in yourself and your abilities, but your audience must also have faith in you or else they won't listen. You literally have seconds from the time you reach the lectern or get introduced in a Zoom meeting to when they decide whether or not they'll trust you with their time and attention. That is to say, this book isn't a just-believe-in-yourself collection of inspirational quotes. It's a proven pathway to becoming a capable and confident speaker who makes an impact. This book is a proven pathway to becoming a capable and confident speaker that makes an impact. I've spent over two decades developing this pathway, studying communication from every angle, speaking to crowds of every size, and coaching speakers of every background. A UFC heavyweight champion, politicians, CEOs of multi-billion dollar companies, but also to students, engineers, ESL speakers, and professionals at all levels. People just like you. What I'm saying is, I've seen this framework work. This is my sixth book about communication, but it was supposed to be my first. When I started writing, I thought, not yet, Mike, you have more to learn and process. I knew it was too important a topic to rush. Now I'm ready, and I'm excited about everything I have to teach. Confidence on stage follows you off stage. I went to a fairly small private university with a debate team that held its own against far more prominent schools. Year after year, Professor Gary Gillespie led Northwest University to win at national and international tournaments. In Speak With No Fear, I talk about how Gillespie first talked me into joining the team in spite of my self-doubt and then believed in me until I learned to believe in myself. Gillespie taught us more than debate tricks, using Aristotle's famous three elements of persuasion, ethos, pathos, and logos. He taught us that communication was bigger than technique and the words we used. It flowed from who we are as people. I said earlier that confidence is the single most important skill required for great speaking. Let me add to that a little. Confidence is one of the greatest skills for life. When you learn to communicate with confidence, it bleeds over into every area. Because my framework is holistic, addressing the entire person and not just the exterior skills, your confidence on stage will follow you off stage. Bonus, download a quick confidence cheat sheet for free at cheatsheet.mikeacker.com. For many people, their three biggest concerns are their health, wealth, and relationships. Confidence has a positive impact on all three. One, health. Excessive stress is one of the greatest threats to well-being. Not only will confidence lower your pre-speech jitters, the sleepless nights, anxiety, and racing heart, but will also help you face your offstage stresses with calm. Two, wealth. As I said, confident public speaking skills will increase your value to your organization no matter your profession. And as your confidence bleeds into the rest of your professional life, you will interview better, sell better, and lead better.